That's the game. Trump is so far outside this game, he's so far outside the rules, he's never been a player in this game, he's always been an outsider. I've heard people on Fox last night talk about this, who does he think he is? He can't control the media. I got news for you, he is controlling the media, and it's his objective. He is controlling the media. He controls the media when he's not on it, he controls the media when he is on it. He controls the media when he's asleep. Nobody else has been able to do anything like this short of the Kennedys and their pikers compared to the way Trump is doing this. Now, it's very simple. If you read the art of the deal or if you know Donald Trump at all, it's very simple. He had an unpleasant experience in the first debate and in his mind, the question that he was asked was rigged. Don't forget, before that first debate, remember all of the news stories that were floating around saying that that debate, somebody at Fox had been given orders by the Republican establishment to take Trump out. Remember that? There were any number of, of, of so-called sources for this. Some said it was the donors demanding it. Some said that it was Fox News executives demanding it. Some said it was the RNC demanding it. But the news, was, well, Trump's not immune. He hears it. And even if he hadn't heard it, he would have to know that they want to take him out. He's outside the game. He's breaking all the rules. He's exposing so much as fraud that has gone on inside the American political process. For So I can't allow somebody like this to win and succeed. It's quite natural they would want to take him out as well. Politics... It's Bingle Steelers time here, folks. It's quite natural they'd want to take. Well, he heard it. Here comes Megyn Kelly's first question. He didn't hear anybody else get a question like that. He never sees Hillary Clinton get a question like that. He never hears Bill Clinton or any other Democrat get a question like that. So he answers it and he says, screw this. I'm not putting myself in that position again. Why should I? I don't have to. But the rules of the game say when there's a debate, you show us, screw the rules, he's saying. Why should I willingly give them another shot at me in a circumstance they control? Why should I do it? What's the sense in it for me? I'm leading. I'm running the pack here. Why in the world should I put myself in that circumstance? I've already seen what's going to happen. I don't think it's any more complicated than that. It might be. I mean, there could be some personal things going on here that I don't know about, but just in a, in a, from the standpoint of, of knowing Trump, reading his book, and seeing how he operates elsewhere, in his mind, screw the rules, screw what's expected, screw this is just the way you do it, I'm not going to put myself in a position again where I'm going to be treated unfairly. I don't have to. I'm Donald Trump. Anybody can do this. Ted Cruz could choose to do it if he wants to. They just don't. Cruz and the rest of the pack are playing the rules of the game. Trump is saying, I don't have to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't have any respect for these people. What the hell? In addition to that, Donald Trump knows that by not showing up, he's owning the entire event. Some guy not even present will end up owning the entire event. And the proof of that is Fox News last night. I have to tell you, folks, this is, this is where this, this gets tough for me. I was stunned watching Fox News last night. Fox News was acting like they had been jilted at the altar. If it had been me, and this is easy to say, if it had been me and Donald Trump makes a big to-do about not showing up to debate, report the story and move on. Talk about Ted Cruz. Go talk about the other candidates. Go talk about Hillary and the FBI. There's a lot of news out there. But don't devote the rest of the night to how a candidate's not showing up because of you. I mean the network, not just Megyn Kelly. Then they bring in the analysts to analyze what it all means. And I'm just, I'm watching this and I'm, I'm really, it's very hard for me to say here. I'm stunned watching this. Because everybody has to know 
everybody that's involved has to know that this is exactly one of the things Trump is hoping to achieve. And then bringing Michael Moore on late in that program to mock Trump. If I heard it once last night, I've heard it a thousand times since that Trump is afraid of Megyn Kelly or afraid of Fox. That is not what this is. There isn't any fear. What there is here, my opinion, is a desire to control this and a purposeful decision to not put himself in a circumstance where other people want to make him look bad. In his mind, that's a dumb thing to do. You don't put yourself in a circumstance where a whole bunch of other people are going to be able to make you look bad while you're there. And if they do it when you're not around, that's another thing. That's all this is. And you can say whatever you want, but I am not dumb. I'm not going to give you the gun and the bullet and stand still. You want to hit me? Come get me. But I'm not going to put myself in your line of fire. That's what he's doing. If you ask me, quick time out. We'll be back. Don't go away.